Hello, good evening, Facebook. Wanted to stop in this evening. Um, I just let my dogs out. I'm getting back here to my home office to actually work on um, my IRS tax refresher, prep, uh, tax preparer refresher course um, in preparation for the upcoming uh, 2018 tax preparation season. I know a lot of you are excited that we're in the height of the holiday season and really looking forward to uh, the new tax season uh, so that you can get your refunds hoping that you get some refunds. So I wanted to take the time to share some tips on finding a tax professional. Um, I don't know if, if all of you know that I am a tax professional. I have been for several years. Um, and I think that if you are, um, if you are not a um, tax professional or keeping up on education regarding um, tax and tax preparation, that you should really not be doing your own. Uh, tax filing your own tax uh, returns that you should seek out a professional to help you that's knowledgeable um, regardless of the industry um, or the business I feel like as a professional it is my responsibility to keep up to date on the latest um, laws and regulations up in updates pertaining to my industry and business um, that impact uh, the industry and also impact the clients that I work with uh, so I feel obligated so all, although this course is voluntary I always want to make sure that I am as knowledgeable as possible and so I can share that knowledge with my clients. And so that's why I'm here just to share a few tips as you're um, entering this season and seeking out professionals to work with. Um, I would say tip number one is to find um, someone within your network. Get a referral. Recommendations are great. That's the first place that I would say to start. You know, start with your family, friends, colleagues, someone within your network that is um, has uh, been using a tax professional, has had success, has a good relationship with that tax professional, get that referral. And then two, I would say reach out to them, have a sit down, have a one-on-one, -on -one, a face-to-face, -face, or get on the phone and um, have a consultation or an interview. It's okay to call it an interview um, because you want to make sure that this person is right for you. They, You want to make sure first that they're legit. Okay, and there are a lot of great tax professionals. I know a lot of great ones um, in my community of peers. Um, but just because they're good doesn't mean that they're necessarily a good fit for you. And you want to make sure that you're both a good match for each other. Um, so I would say have that interview. And if someone is hesitant about sharing information about themselves and their business and how they work, I would say that is a red flag and you need to seek someone else. You need to move on from that person. But um, it's really important to sit down with them to understand what their process is, how they work. Um, you know, is it just them? Are they working by themselves? Because that can tell you a lot about, especially with regards to timing, um, you know, how soon do you need your taxes done? You know, when do you need them done? That's a critical for a lot of people. And if, if it's one person, um, it can get, uh, it's really busy during tax season, regardless if you have a team of people or one. Uh, but how their process works varies depending on that factor and a number of other factors as well. So you want to be knowledgeable of that and ask them those questions. You know, you know, do you prefer someone that's local or do you not mind someone being uh, remote, living in another state? You know, everyone has their preference. Some people are more comfortable having someone in their hometown, hometown versus someone that is remote and, and others do not care. They prefer someone. Um, just be knowledgeable and an expert and willing to work with them. So understand what their process is. Do they work online? What types of systems are they using? Um, what is their billing systems like? Um, and I would say make sure along the way, even once you hire the person that and during that process, that they're transparent. Transparency is so important. You understand that you need to be part of the process. So don't be afraid to interview your tax professional that you want to work with and ask them questions. Um, because if they're not wanting to answer them, again, that's a red flag and you should politely leave and seek out someone else to work with. Um, that's going to be very important to make sure that you're doing your due diligence. Look, at, look to see what are their credentials. You know, if they're a CPA, you can verify that with the Board of Accountancy. Make sure that you verify, you know, because we're responsible to keep our licenses and our credentials up to date, take certain uh, educational credits. Um, ask them, do they have a tax preparer identification number? You can easily verify that with the IRS. So there's things that you can do that you need to do to make sure that you are hiring uh, the best tax professional for you. Um, also understand 
that the different roles and responsibilities, um, because sometimes people get that confused as well. Um, understand that your role, the tax preparer role, and the accountant's role are two different things, or are, are three different things. Excuse me. Um, so your your accountant can be a tax preparer, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are. Um, also, if you have a tax preparer. We don't all specialize in the same areas. Like my area of expertise is working with home-based businesses or people that have a full-time job and have a home-based business on the side. So that is my area of expertise. So someone else may have another area. So you want to make sure that you know what their specialties are because that's going to be important to make sure that they're working in your best interest, that they un can help you maintain compliance, that they can help you limit your liabilities and maximize your deductions. Anyone that is guaranteeing you these huge refunds and they have not seen your prior year's tax returns, run, okay? <laughs> um, because if I have not worked with you before, I'm asking you for your refunds. I don't know who you work with. I don't know if they did the right thing. I don't know. I don't know what they did. So if you come to me saying I got a $15,000 refund last year, I can't guarantee that. You know, and you shouldn't expect, expect um, for your tax preparer to make those guarantees because there's a lot of uh, scenarios. There's um, things that come in, a lot of factors that come into play, like, like the regulation. We see that um, there's a bill right now in Congress that can have a significant impact. You look at regulations. Did your income change last year? Any slight change can make the difference in what the outcome of your tax filing looks like. Um, so you want to make sure, again, that you're doing your due diligence, that we're setting realistic expectations regarding the process, understanding the roles and responsibilities, and including your, your role. Um, so it's important that when you're talking with your tax um, preparer, that they're informing you of what your role. So not only what their process is like, but you, what your role is in that process and understanding that as a tax preparer, it is not the responsibility of the tax preparer to do your calculations for you. Now, your accountant can help you with that, but at the time that you present your information to the tax preparer, all your annual calculations should be done. It is your responsibility to make sure that is in order. It is your responsibility to make sure that you have all your pertinent records. That is your responsibility. Now, if you hire your accountant to make sure that they are managing that process and have your records together, that is awesome. But again, understand the different roles of accountant versus a tax preparer. When you take, when you hire a tax preparer, they are preparing your taxes based on annual numbers you gave them. It's your job to keep those records because when the IRS comes calling, it's you that has to provide those records for them or you together with your accountant to say, here are my records. I can verify that, you know, my tax filing and here are the records to support my tax filing. So again, you just want to make sure that you're doing you know, your due diligence in the process and um, that you're educating yourself. Just make sure that you are educated along the way throughout the process, keeping informed throughout the process, <clears throat> and then everything will be, um, everything will be good. Don't expect, again, if, you're in ta if your tax preparer prepared your taxes, you have a great refund um, coming, but there's something you did or did not do on your end that impacts that refund. That has happened and people get upset about that. But again, your tax preparer is only responsible for preparing your taxes and then filing your taxes. So say you get a refund of $5,000, but because you defaulted on your student loans, they took your money. They will do that. You know, if you're garnished for some reason, you know, you didn't pay child support or you owe um, back uh, workers comp or unemployment, you were overpaid, they will take that money first. So, you know, at the end of the day, you have a refund, but because you did not follow through on something that you should have, um, they will take that money off the top. So that has happened. It's happened several times. So again, it's, it's important for the tax preparer to inform you of that, but that's not their, their job either. But as if, if I'm your tax professional, I'm going to be informing you of that from the beginning, that there are different things that will impact um, your tax filing. And it's important that you're aware of those types of things. So again, uh, those are the tips that I have for you today. Just do your due diligence um, and, and be a part of the process. Understand the roles and responsibilities and have a realistic expectations regarding the process. Uh, if you have any questions regarding tax preparation, if you need assistance, feel free to reach out. If you need any recommendations, feel free to inbox me, message me, email me at info at intuitive risk management.com. And have a happy holiday 